Welcome to this video guys and in this video we will see how we can install Linux in our Windows 10 system with just one command. You might have seen other videos where you enable WSL first then go to Microsoft Store, download Ubuntu and install it but we will not be doing all that we will just do this using one command. We will not be using VirtualBox, we will not be using any other virtualization tool. We will just be doing with the default tools provided by Windows 10. So let's see how we can do it. First, go to your start and type command and open command prompt. And in command prompt, you need to type this command. Now this command, what it does is, by default, it enables WSL, that means Windows Subsystem for Linux, and then it downloads the default distribution of Linux that can be installed in Windows. So let's hit enter and let's see what happens. In my machine, it is saying Ubuntu is already installed as I had already done it. But in your system, it will be first downloading Ubuntu and then it will install Ubuntu. And it might take some time. So let's give it some time. Now you can see after the installation is complete, it will ask you for a username. And you can enter your username. And it will ask you for a password. Enter a password. Re-enter the password. Make sure it is the same. And now the password is updated successfully. It is now finalizing finalizing installation. So after the installation is complete, you will see this message installation successful. No need to do anything right now. It is still processing some things. After the processing is complete, it will by default open a Linux terminal. So once the installation is complete, you will be inside a Linux terminal. Now this is not the command prompt that we had uh, originally opened. We are now inside a Linux. As you can see here, it is showing Welcome to Ubuntu 22.4 and all this stuff. So now we are inside a Linux terminal. You can uh, you can check the version like this if you want to check it yourself. As you can see here, it is printing the distribution of the Ubuntu that is installed. And you can run all the Linux commands here. And if you exit this, now as you can see here, we are again inside the Windows terminal. Now we can exit it again. And how do you open the Linux distribution that is installed again? So again, you go to start menu, type Ubuntu. So as you can see here, you can open Ubuntu from Windows now. Also, we just installed Ubuntu version, but how do you install other distributions like Kali Linux or Debian or some other Linux distribution? So we will, I will show you that in another video. So subscribe and stay tuned.